Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? We didn't really have time to chat while taking out Geth on Haystrom, did we? I still can't believe everyone else is dead. All for data about stars blowing up. I hope the Admiralty Board gets some use out of it. Any news yet on the data you said? I'm not likely to hear anything for a while. Or on an unsecured channel, for that matter. Having any trouble settling back in on the Normandy? I like the quiet. I miss the old faces, though. Presley, Engineer Adams, all of them. It doesn't seem right having Cerberus in charge of this ship. Are you sure working for them is the right thing to do? I caught some tension back on Freedom's Progress and again when you first came aboard. What happened between Cerberus and the Quarians? They attacked one of our ships, the Edena. It seems they were attempting to kill or control a young human biotic who was on the fleet. I don't really know the details. I do know that Cerberus made an enemy of the Quarian people. I don't agree with all Cerberus policies, but they're doing the right thing here, Tally. For now. But as soon as you no longer serve their needs, be ready for them to turn on you. For now, I should get back to work. Thanks for coming by. You're the best, Commander. We just got those FBA couplings installed. Now we only have to calibrate every week instead of every day. We're thinking about celebrating our newfound free time with some Skillion 5 poker. Want to join us? Come on, Kenneth. The Commander doesn't want to play cards with grease monkeys like us. This isn't a casino. Get back to work. Yes, Commander. you came. I must ask for your help. That is not easy for me. What do you need? When we met on Ilium, I told you about a very dangerous person I was pursuing. Using the information you obtained, I have located her. She's been going by the name Morinth. I would like to apprehend her before she disappears again. Didn't you say you'd pick up her trail after our mission? I know where she is, right now. In a month, she may be gone. This is the best opportunity I've ever had. Where is she? Omega. A nightclub called Afterlife, which seems a perfect place for her to hunt. How important is this? Killing her has been my focus for 400 years. It is the most important thing in my life, and the reason I became a Justicar. Tell me about her. She is an Ardot Yakshi. It is a term from a dead Asari dialect. It means demon of the night winds, but that is mythology. She is simply a very dangerous woman who kills without mercy. You're dangerous too. As are you. But she is different. Morin suffers a rare genetic disorder. When she mates with you, there is no gentle melding of nervous systems. She overpowers yours, burns it out, hemorrhages your brain. You end up a mindless shell and soon after, you are dead. So you hunt down these Asari just because they're born with a genetic condition? It manifests with maturity. When one is diagnosed, she is offered the chance to live in seclusion and comfort. If she refuses, it shows her addiction to the ecstasy she gets from killing her mates. There is no redemption for such a person. They have to choose between prison and death? It is an addictive condition. Remember how adaptive we are. If Morinth does not want to be cured, she won't be. Can't she abstain? Each encounter gives her strength. The effect is narcotic. The more she does it, the more she needs to do it. She will never stop. She can't. Why isn't this ever mentioned in Asari literature or art? When we were primitive, there was much fascination with Ardot Yakshi. Some cultures worshipped them as gods of destruction. Now the Asari have a place in the galaxy, and they don't wish this defect to be widely known. 
As far as I know, only three exist today. Two chose a life of seclusion. The third ran. Morinth. She ran, and I am sworn to kill her. I don't know that I blame her for running. When she fled, she proved her addiction. She was not taking a great moral stand. She simply wants to keep killing. She is a tragic figure, but not a sympathetic one. Why isn't this ever mentioned in Asari literature or art? When we were primitive, there was much fascination with Ardat Yakshi. Some cultures worshipped them as gods of destruction. Now the Asari have a place in the galaxy, and they don't wish this defect to be widely known. As far as I know, only three exist today. Two chose a life of seclusion. The third ran. Morinth. She ran, and I am sworn to kill her. I don't know that I blame her for running. When she fled, she proved her addiction. She was not taking a great moral stand. She simply wants to keep killing. She is a tragic figure, but not a sympathetic one. Isn't she only deadly to the people she mates with? Each time she kills, she becomes stronger, smarter, and faster. And she's been doing this for 400 years. She confuses her victims, twists their feelings. They will do anything for her favor. If we have time, we'll deal with it. There is one thing more. This creature, this monster, she is my daughter. You said this is genetic. How many children do you have? Three. And three Ardat Yakshi are in existence today. It is as it sounds. Marinth was always the wild one. She was happy and free, but selfish. I needed to know this a long time ago. I present no danger to anyone besides my own children. And this is not easy to speak of, even 400 years after I learned it. My daughter's condition is my fault, and my redemption lies in killing her. Do not pity me. Simply understand my situation. I need my crew to be good at their jobs and keep their personal lives personal. I understand. Nonetheless, if there is time, I would like to go to the Afterlife nightclub on Omega. Help me find my long-lost daughter. And kill her. If there's time, maybe we can go to Omega. chat with your friend Tally. She's not what I expected from her psych report. I like her. She's just here to do her job. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Yes, Commander. It's great to see Tali on board, Commander, just like old times. It is her, right? I mean, because with the mask, it's... Ah, never mind. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last. Samara feels like she could shoot me in a very tranquil way, which does not make me feel any better about it. No surprise, Morden acts superior to everyone, like he's got tenure at FU. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. That's it for now. See you, Commander. <laughs> 